Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm unboxing set number 75969. This is the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. It's the biggest, it's like the big Hogwarts extension for summer 2020, but it's not the biggest Harry Potter set this summer. The borough has more pieces, even though it's the same price. And then obviously we have like the giant $400 Diagon Alley coming out that we're waiting to be revealed. But again, this is supposed to be like the flagship set for this summer wave, basically, as each Hogwarts set is. And you can see in the background of the box, you can see the Great Hall and the Clock Tower from 2018 and 2019. So let's spin the box around. It's like a regular big $100 box. And then on the back, it just shows the detail of what's inside. So let's get this thing open so then I can build it and review it. All right, so I've got it on its side so we can cut it open. I'm really excited to build this set. I always look forward to the Hogwarts sets every year now since 2018, and this one definitely looks awesome. Because we've never gotten the Astronomy Tower before. At least we had the Great Hall before. All right, there are the bags. Let's dump this thing out. And that's a lot of stuff. All right, so I've taken the camera off the stand again so I can show you guys everything. You can see the burrow in the background there because I have all the other Harry Potter sets I've been building on the left side of my table. But there are six numbered bags. They're all pretty full. It's kind of surprising to me. I can already tell that the Astronomy Tower is only like bags four, five, and six. I thought like, you know, more than three bags would go into building that. But it looks like the first one's for the greenhouse, the number two and three are for like the viaduct entrance building. And then yeah, the actual tower is the rest of it. There's one big loose plate that you can see right there. And luckily my instruction manual is not bent up like the burrow one was. And you can see the sticker sheet in there. So a lot of stickers, but I mean, most of those are just like the brick detailing stickers. And I always like it when Lego includes those because it really improves the look of the outside of these buildings. But yeah, so that's it for this video. And I will see you guys in the review. Bye for now.